The potato cannon is composed of many different components, which transfer energy from one object to another. The process begins with the difference in air pressure. The potato cannon is pressurized to around 80 psi, which creates an internal potential energy. Next, the projectile is loaded into the tube. And when the valve holding the pressure back is opened, the potential energy transfers to kinetic energy, launching the projectile from the tube. In addition to the projectile launching forward, kinetic energy is also released in the opposite direction in the form of recoil. travels through the air, energy is lost due to air resistance, which also creates heat and sound from the friction with the air. Eventually, the projectile will collide with the stationary target, resulting in the transfer of momentum from the projectile to the target. Parts of the target will travel in various directions. In most cases, when we shot a projectile, the resulting collision was an elastic collision, where the metal slug went straight through whatever we were shooting. Except in our last trial, where a metal slug impregnated the cabbage.